Welcome to Art B1 Summer 2020 Part 3 for Wasco and Wonderland. Penelope Young here again. Uh, so we're in the, at the PowerPoint here. You can either download it and look at it in PowerPoint or you can look at it online. Before I leave this screen, I just want to mention that you really absolutely have to have Microsoft Word or a word processing program. You cannot use your phone for this course and you cannot use an iPad and you cannot just type in a text file okay we'll get into that a little bit more uh, this is from the website uh, the canvas site so we are in chapter one here and see how I clicked here that was the download if you don't want to do that you can scroll down here and I had just hit these arrows excuse me <clears throat> uh, for full screen and then you can get all that information there okay so that's a different way to look at it. All right, let's go back to our discussion. And here we were, and I posted those images, right, to show you how to do that. But let's back up just a little bit, and I'm going to go over what I expect from you in this course. So I want you to really read over everything that is asking you to do this. I want you to have a post with images by Tuesday at 11 p.m. for full credit and then it is due with your replies to classmates posts by Thursday at 11 okay two artworks from the textbook only these are not random artworks that you just kinda of cooked up it has to be stuff that we're looking at in the book we're really trying to stay on track with our authors concepts and I want you to get familiar with these images there are a lot of images in that book okay so we went through all this, the two images, either the internet by Googling or by downloading from the um, PowerPoint, saving the images. So you're going to reply to your students uh, one to three sentences each. Now I'm going to back up a little bit. Um, so you're going to say first about yourself. Let me go through here. Okay. So you're going to talk about yourself, full so full sentences always. Okay, your definition definition of art, an image of each artwork. You need the title, and this me, must be capitalized and either ital italicized or in quotes. And the artist as well. Now let's go back over here. We're going to look at a title really quickly. Um, we're going to look at Mr. Picasso here. So if you notice. Um, well, that is not a good example. This didn't come through the formatting, didn't come through. Uh, this one, you can see it better. So the artist is listed first. You just want to imitate what you're going to see. The figure number, which isn't on here, but you also want to include that. You don't have to do it this time, but it'll usually say figure 1.6. Sandro Botticelli, Sandro Botticelli, that is the artist's name. This is Botticelli's Venus. The title is The Birth of Venus. This either wants quotation marks or you can see how it's italicized, it's slanted. You don't have to have everything else, okay? Just have the title and the artist. I think I might have said author. Okay, so have that on there and why you do not like it. I don't like it because it's abstracted. I think it, it looks distorted. Get into some description, okay? Down here, it's going to tell you how to reply to students. It's not like, oh, that's cool. You can interact with other students. Two sentences can be a greeting, glad to meet you, oh, I think it's great that you like soccer or whatever, but those aren't graded. Make sure that you are, are writing about the work. Guidelines are here, so that will give you some information on how to participate in the discussions. Um, so that should be helpful to you there. Okay, so the discussions have um, a fair amount of work to do in them, and you want to get all your thoughts together and your images ready before you post, okay? Be when you hit reply, then you need to get all that stuff on there. You can't just go back in and look and go back and forth because that it's kind of cheating by seeing what everybody else is already doing. You, you've got to post first. We have a few discussions that are graded, one, two, and three. And we also have a muddiest point discussion. And this is something that if you're online at midnight and you have a question and another student's on at midnight, 
I wouldn't suggest staying up that late because you got to get up early and work hard on the course. Um, but you can interact with another student here, same thing, hit reply and, and ask your question. There's also support hotline numbers down there too. I'm not online 24 hours a day, so you want to make sure that if you really have a burning question that you think another student can answer, that might be a good place to go. Okay, let's go back to the front of the course, and we covered quite a few things already. I'm going to close everything out so you see what these these modules look like again. And uh, we got into um, the discussions. Let's get into announcements. The announcements are basically information on how to be, how to take the course and, and what's going on. Sometimes things have been changed, you know. Um, maybe I had extended a due date because the computers crashed or the internet went down, something like that. So you want to make sure and read all the announcements. And remember, I showed you how to get into notifications so that you will get this information directly to your email. So this gives you some information. Is that correct, due date, July? Uh, no, it's June. This is old. Sorry. Um, I caught my own typo. If you catch one of these, though, this is points for you. June 11th. Okay, because our, our due dates are on. Um, okay, the rest of this is right. So our due dates are on Thursdays. Okay, so this gives you some information. Basically, a lot of the things that I'm just telling you now. Some uh, materials that are really great for the collage coming up in week two. Okay, so we we know about home. We know about that's the front page of Canvas announcements, discussions, grades. Oh, actually, I can't show you grades. I'm gonna go back out because I'm not in my student view. Okay, so let's go into student view for me. Takes a second. So it's a little bit weird. Now, sometimes things are wonky where something happened in your window and then I'm not seeing it as in terms of like taking the exams, stuff like that. Um, do a screenshot and send it to me. That's the best way. But for the most part, it works. Um, there are certain exceptions, okay? Just know that. But if you submitted work and you see it there, I will see it there. That's pretty, that's pretty solid. But sometimes there's a different way that things are laid out, that kind of thing. Okay, so let's go into grades. That's our next one. And this is my grade. I gave myself a B this time. And then you can scroll down and look at all the different things. Um, I have to shrink this down. It's not fitting. Um, you can see on the syllabus quiz, quiz, sorry, excuse me, there are some comments. So I'm going to click on there. And I'm going to look at the comments. It says, good job. Okay. But there might be further comments there that are more complex and it will give you some information how to do better on the next assignment. I don't accept reworked work. The due date is the due date, but you can work moving forward and improve by the comments. I do offer extra credit as well, so you can make up some points if you're really uh, off track with the course. Okay. So that is what that looks like. I'm going to leave the student view. The other thing that you're going to find there, which is important, is going to be how to use Turnitin. I'm going to wait until this populates. So there's a lot of things here, and i got to do student view one more time. I'll probably do it in the last video. But plagiarism is really important, and I find that high school students like to work together and you can't do that in this course. You can, you can talk about ideas, but you cannot submit the same work because it will, the the software in the course will catch that and you'll get a zero. Okay, so be very careful about that. So plagiarism is here. I'm going to scroll down and you're going to look through all of this. This is important for you to read. But I'm going to scroll down and show you. Now this is a different college I, that I work for. Um, but it's the same layout. When you go into grades, like we, where we just were, and you see this 100% dark red, it's color-coded for Turnitin. Um, this means something was submitted, a typed file was submitted. That's what the T is. It hasn't been graded yet. But that 100% is telling you that you need to rewrite this. You can rewrite it, and you need to rewrite it. If you have anything over 
15 or 20 percent, um, then I would suggest that you click on this and you go back in the assignment and you rewrite it. Okay, it's going to tell you where you had some issues. And down here, this is what it's going to look like. Now, this is a student, I cut their name off, I cropped it off, um, but this tells me where you got the information. And the red is a full on um, word for word. Yellow is perhaps a little bit different, but this might be a different resource. So this person only had one sentence that was their own. Okay, so that's bad. Um, this person actually uh, never did drop, but they did fail the course because they did this every essay. I emailed them, I called them, I reported them, same thing, just kept doing it. So make sure that you are not cutting and pasting from any resource, that you're rewriting everything very carefully. And if you have any questions, um, go back and look at the book and make sure that you didn't um, accidentally do it. That also counts, okay? Don't copy from another student. That's also plagiarism. And this um, is showing a, a website right here. If it's another student, it'll say student, and I'll click on that, and it'll give me the name, and you'll both be in trouble. Okay? So let's not do that. Um, here, write your essay, submit it, wait 20 minutes, and then your number will appear, and then you can click on that, and it should look something like this. Now, I can't guarantee this is, might be slightly different, but it should look about like that, and it will take you to turn it in, and you can rewrite and resubmit before the due date. If you do this as plagiarized, the due date happens, it's a zero, okay? For 100%, it's absolutely a zero. Now, there are, there are glitches with that program, and I will check, especially with a high number. I'll go back in, and I'll make sure it is correct.